When it comes to rider capabilities, Kirsten is certainly all set for the Dakar Rally. But strength and conditioning wise, she still has much to do to make sure she can physically stay in the saddle for the duration of the race and all the challenges that it presents. With the Dakar Rally being so physically demanding, I've really had to mix up my training regime. I've had to become a lot stronger as a rider. I've had to gain a little bit more weight and I've still got more weight to gain and a lot of more strength training to do. We've been mixing it up in terms of obviously riding time on the bike. You can't, you can't get better than that. But also in the gym, I've had to start doing weight training, um, working on my, uh, my leg strength and my upper body strength most importantly and um, just changing it up completely whereas I'm trying not to do such high intensity um, and burn in too much calories. I'm trying to gain a bit more muscle um, in order to get a lot stronger. You know, I've been doing stuff at home where I actually physically push the motorbike, I put it down, I jump over it, I pick it up and then I do the same thing or mimicking what, you know, what I battled with when I was in Morocco and something like just picking up the motorbike is what I battled with. So. Um, there's a lot that's changed in what I'm used to and I can feel it and see it in my body. I mean, I've put on five kgs already and I've got another five to go. So there's a, a lot that has changed. It's all very exciting because it's all new and um, there's still a lot that needs to change. The extra time in the gym is no major challenge for Kirsten, but the demanding process of the required weight gain certainly is. Nutritionist Ruth Marcus provides more on the subject. For Kirsten to go into the Dakar Rally with the energy stores that she will need, she will naturally need to pick up a few more kilos. So the focus will be on healthy fats such as nuts, olive oil, avocados, as well as lean protein, so chicken, fish, meat, etc., as well as some eggs. The idea is that Kirsten will pick up the weight, but it will be done so in a controlled manner so that it doesn't overwhelm her. Gaining 10 kilos is a lot of weight, but if it's done correctly, it will give her the results that she wants. That's something that I've been really good with and that's how I've been able to finish the races that I've done is because I've covered all, all the ends and this is one that's so important. And um, if you're not, your body's not fit, I mean, you know, you've got your motorbike that'll get you a finish line, but if your body's not good enough to get you to the finish line, then you ain't getting there. So it's, it's, it's a very intricate part of the, of the program and I'm gonna make sure that I do everything humanly possible that I can do myself to make sure that I'm, I'm best prepared for Dakar. To keep up with Kirsten, and for more on the power tools that won't quit, follow Ryobi Africa on social media.